Hi, welcome back. This is week 29. Today is October 14th. But in this video, I'll give a quick update of how our startup is going. This week has been a very busy and exciting week. So let's go on with the video. So as last week, you know that we were applying for Y Combinator again. We applied for the summer batch of 2023, but we were applying for the winter batch of 2024. So the deadline for that batch was yesterday, October 13th, Friday. Okay, let's see if everybody's okay. No response. Just three minutes ago, I'm impatient. Winter 2024. He's completed their part. The virus by November 17th. That's one month that they have to scan all those, I don't know, thousands of applicants. That's should be tough. Anyway, I think I'm okay. Ready? Okay, summoning, let's go. So we scrambled in, we got our videos for our self-introduction done on Wednesday. We did it through a web meeting because everybody was all over the place at that time. I created a demo, so I created a mock-up. It didn't fully work, so I did a bit of video editing so that it showed and communicated what we were trying to achieve. But at the end, I think it worked well. So I can give a glimpse of that. So now we have an actual website. So go on to easyproposal.ai. I'll put a link in the description, but please have a look at that. If you're in North America and are interested in doing government contracts, please let us know. You can book my time uh, through the calendar. Uh, you can click on one of the buttons on the website and you can uh, book my time there. I'm also open to talk to people who have done government projects who can share their experience with us or what kind of pain they face trying to get any government contracts. We're very much open to hearing more experiences and understanding more about how especially small and medium companies go about this. So as you can see, this is our website. Pretty simple, pretty basic. I think we need to do more polishing. It doesn't really illustrate what you get out of this. We need to do more on that part. On the back end, we're starting to create how to scrape the data from all these government bidding sites, these procurement sites, because usually the UI is different. Sometimes you need an account to actually log in to get access to the actual bidding project information. We're not going to end our project here. We're going to keep on brushing our product up we're going to get more customers. We're going to update uh, our application as we go. We're going to get paying customers, hopefully in the near future. We will continue to strive to understand because if you don't have paying customers, you haven't really solved anything yet. That means your MVP is not validated yet. So we definitely need to get that done and validate that our minimum viable product or as I state minimum testable product is actually worthwhile so that's it for this week if you're interested in our journey please subscribe to our channel if you're a startup founder or if you're interested in becoming a startup founder i think this will provide a lot of information and also bring you along with our journey of how our startup goes so please subscribe please like so that this information can reach out to all those startups and also startup wannabes that would be great and thank you very much for watching this video. Hope to see you again next week. Bye.